Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little, a little different. It's been a while since I've done something, at least in this sort of style, but I'm gonna be taking you guys through my at-home workout routine because obviously, gyms are closed right now and I I know in LA at least they probably won't be opening up again until the rest of the economy does which is supposed to be July and even then I don't know that I will be ready to go back into a gym so yeah so as a lot of you guys know, Omar and I released Built Fierce, which was our monthly subscription service, which basically every week gave you updated progressive overload strength training for women who wanted to get stronger and who wanted to get more fit and just be overall like more confident in the gym. So anyway, point is that is the workout routine that I was following religiously. I was in the gym four times a week and it was feeling really, really good and my numbers were starting to go up and I was just seeing, you know, all of the hard work that I was putting in starting to show in my body. And then quarantine started and I did not have any dumbbells. I didn't have any bands I didn't have anything because I never work out at home like not even simple stuff Like if I'm really desperate, maybe I'll do some push-ups But like generally speaking, I do not do at-home workouts. So I scavenged the internet I found some dumbbells on let go which were totally overpriced but i was able to get my hands on some 10s and 20s and use some soup cans so this is the dumbbell workout routine that i have been following for the last four to five weeks i would say like i was kind of like beta testing it out for a little bit while omar was writing it and yeah i've officially made it my regular routine at home for the past month month and a half and it's been going really really good so yeah I'm gonna take you guys through this workout. I have lost about three pounds since quarantine started. I was about 119. My weight just is like forever fluctuating between 116 to 119. This week I am 116. And I would say it's more fluctuating between like 117 to 119. So this week it's been at 116.5. Uh, so there's definitely some, some changes that are starting to happen. So yeah, we're gonna do the workout. I will definitely walk you guys through the exercises as I do them as best as possible. And if you guys are interested in in starting this program yourself for the workouts that I've been doing. Omar and I actually released an at-home workout program via Built Fierce. It's just at builtfierce.com slash home where our members already have access to it and then we opened it up to the public for people who just wanted to do a one-time purchase. So you guys will see as I do the workout, figure out if it's for you, but I think it's really great. It's $25 total, no membership prices or anything like that. $25 will get you access to three different 12 week programs. So the first one is going to be body weight only for 12 weeks. The second one is banded and body weight only for 12 weeks if you just only have access to bands. And then the third one is gonna be the dumbbell one. So I'm following the dumbbell because I really just, I need some sort of strength training in my life. It was really important to us when we decided to create this at home program that it would be available to everybody. So whether you only had dumbbells and you wanna do some body weight, perfect. If you wanna do banded and dumbbell, you could do that. If you wanted to just do body weight you could do that we just wanted to make sure that everyone had an opportunity to start working out from home and I feel like we did a really good job accomplishing that so uh, this is a three days a week workout but it's pretty freaking intense like I'm sweating every single time and I keep cranking up the AC when I do these workouts so yeah I'm gonna take you guys through day one of my dumbbell workout routine it, I'll just do day one week one because I'm already like on this next segment of the workout program but just so that you guys can get an idea of what it was like starting out it's really good stuff enjoy okay so first things first for this workout Okay, so I'm gonna read this directly from the Built Fierce website because I can't say it any better than we already have. So many of the exercises in the program are going to be done in a circuit fashion, which basically just means one after another. And then you would basically just rest after completing the full thing of exercises. Or you can do them as supersets, which is two exercises done, one after another, and then rest after completing both. However, if that is too intense for you, you can just do this one exercise at a time the way that you would do if you were at the gym and yeah. The most important thing is that you move at your own pace and you just have fun while doing this program. So, let's do it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna be doing goblet squats and that's gonna be four sets of 10. I'm gonna do the circuit style, so I don't wanna keep having to pause while I'm doing it, but I'm gonna do four sets of 10, go directly into forward lunges with dumbbells. I'm using 10 pounds, so that's gonna also be four sets of 10, and then right into a standing split squat without any weight, just body weight, and that will also be four sets of 10, and then I'll rest for 60 seconds to 180 seconds, so one to three minutes, and repeat until finished. So one set of each, rest, one set of each, rest. Okay, here we go. 
Enjoy. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to start my Apple Watch for the workout. Um, so that kind of sucks because I've already done two sets. But I'm gonna start it now. So take the calories burned with a grain of salt. However, Apple Watch, who knows how like consistent it really is to begin with, but I'm gonna assume maybe I've burned like max 70 calories or something like that. But yeah, I'll start it now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I totally forgot to mention what that workout was. That, okay, what the fuck hair? Like, honestly, oh my God. All right, totally forgot to mention that, that first workout I did was a single leg glute bridge. Ideally, you will have more leg flexibility than I will, and you'll really be able to get up there higher. My legs, <sighs> Let me tell you, they are a disaster. And I haven't been able to do my physical therapy and chiro work with all this stuff happening. So ideally, yeah, you'll be able to get up a little bit higher and squeeze. I really feel these in my hamstring though. It may not look like it with the range of motion. <laughs> Cause I get it's like this much movement, but my hamstrings are burning from the second I do it. So I'm working on my flexibility slowly but surely. But yeah, that was single leg glute bridge. This is also going to be another thing of four sets of 10. So now I'm going to go straight into four sets of 10 of a glute bridge with a 20 pound dumbbell. The first one was with 10 pounds. So let me lay it out for you a bit more organized. So for the second circuit, we are going to be doing four sets of 10 of a single leg glute bridge, ideally with a dumbbell. And then right after that, set of 10, you will go into a glute bridge with a dumbbell. I'm using 20 pounds. The first one was with 10 pounds. And then after that set, you're going to do frog pumps for four sets of 10, I believe. Might be 20. I don't know, but let's do it. <laughs>
Prince thinks is happening when I'm working out, especially when I'm on the floor. I swear he thinks like he needs to protect me or something, so he'll always get out of bed and he's like, I'm guarding you, I'm just gonna stand right here. Just wanna make sure everything's fine. All right guys, so we're gonna move on to the last circuit for this program. I'm feeling really good. I'm not really sweating today, which is weird because I drink a lot of water. Maybe I'm just like, maybe because I've been doing this for a while actually, this might not be as challenging for me because I've like been increasing, you know what I mean? Like for the last couple of weeks, I don't know, I don't know. Because this is literally the first workout, week one, day one of the dumbbell programs. Anyway, okay, so for the last circuit, we are gonna be doing three sets of 10 for push-ups, and if push-ups are too hard, you can just do knee push-ups, which is just an easier alternative, but will still help you eventually be able to do regular push-ups. Into dumbbell rows, three sets of 10, band pull-aparts or bent over raises. So if you do have bands, we kind of threw some into the program. Um, however, if you don't, we immediately have a replacement for that. So I'll, I'm gonna be doing banded pull-aparts because my shoulders would really appreciate it. And then plank for three sets of 30 seconds. Here we go, yay. <laughs> That is it for day one, week one of the at-home dumbbell workout program by Built Fierce that, again, I've been following this program for the last couple of weeks and it has been so good and I'm seeing some changes because I lost a lot of the muscle in my arms, I lost my hamstrings, and I'm not saying that, like, I, I genuinely do think being in a gym, just atmosphere-wise, I just, I feel like it helps you get results faster, but I'm not getting back into the gym for a while and I still feel like I'm getting bomb results. It's really just about progressive overload, it's about pushing yourself past a certain limit and recovery and the way the way that you eat and the things that you do after the workout and before the workout and your sleep hygiene oh my god there's so many different things but if you were looking for some guidance for an at-home program I feel like I, I got you covered there let's see I wrote down notes because I it's been so long since I've done a video like this that I feel like ah, I don't know what to say okay okay oh okay so I did I forgot to, I forgot to turn off the workout um so this took about 45 minutes however I did start recording late and it says that I burned 185 calories so if we add 75 to 185 it's like 120 or 130 what no that's like 160 wait what am I doing here yeah so that puts us at about 260 calories burned however we don't know how legitimate these things are but I can show you so it's 142 active calories, 186 calories burned, and I had an average heart rate of 122 beats per minute. I'm not mad about that, like I'm really not. So on top of this workout, you could also do a little bit of cardio. I've been doing so many different things that I would have never done if quarantine didn't exist. One, start doing yoga. Haven't done it in about a week and a half, but I've had like maybe five yoga sessions at home. Amazing, couldn't recommend it enough. Why did no one tell me my, my camera was so I have done a ton of different, just like cardio and strength things outside of this workout as well. So I recently purchased a bike and I've been going for bike rides just locally if I need to pick something up from like the pharmacy or if I need to drop off some packages at the USPS. I don't know, or if I just wanna go for a bike ride around town. And I feel like that is so good for building up stamina because I used to ride a bike a lot as a little kid and it is way harder than I remember. But I love it and I'm having so much fun. So I feel like that's a really good way to, like I said, increase stamina, just get in some cardio in a way that's kind of more effortless because you're just kind of riding, cruising, having a good time. Also, 
I'm trying to go for runs. I'm trying to do too many different things at once, which is why like yoga kind of fell behind because then I started doing the jogging and the biking. So I feel like if you can just incorporate any of these, I'll just mention them all. Cardio at the park, whether that's like just running around, we have a really nice park locally with a track and a lot of people have been social distancing, but also just kind of running the track or doing interval training in the grass. If you can get your hands on a bike and just ride around locally, get a helmet, better safe than sorry. But that has been really, really nice. Going for local jogs around the town, I prefer running out in the street than I do on a treadmill. I hate running on a treadmill. Uh, going for hikes because a lot of the trails have opened up at least out here in LA. Remain social distancing, keep that keep that going. And then also try and incorporate yoga of some sort. There are so many different things that you can do to continue to burn calories and just continue to live an active, healthy lifestyle, even from home. So if you guys are still watching and any of you guys have an interest in the Built Fierce at-home workout program that we're selling for $25, I'm just gonna list a few things that we are offering so that you can have a better understanding of what you are getting in total with the $25. So first thing, you get three 12-week at-home workout programs, one body weight, one dumbbell, one banded. Each of those have their own 12-week splits. On top of that, you get a complete video library with over 65 exercises in there. I think it's a total of 65 exercises, all filmed and voiceovered by me, basically giving you, you know, a tutorial on how to complete some of these workouts because the internet can have so many different varieties and not all of them are correct, so we wanted to make sure to incorporate that for you guys as well. We also really wanted to incorporate that because a lot of people, I've been getting a lot of DMs of people who are saying that they are excited about starting the gym and that they've never actually considered it until quarantine started. So we wanted to make sure that all beginners felt completely welcome in this, but still making it challenging enough for our, you know, intermediates and advanced lifters slash gym goers. This is also going to contain a quick start guide, which is going to give you a brief introduction to tracking your calories, how to follow all of the routines, and just some extra tips along the way that are going to be really invaluable in making this journey feel just accessible and attainable. There will also be a macro calculator included so that you can calculate your macros and make sure that you are being as optimal as you can with your nutrition to get the best results possible. And lastly, there are gonna be seven different meal plans to give you different ideas on how to organize your calories. Our current members have have been literally raving about this at-home workout program. Here are some of their reviews here. It has been so good for everybody and it kind of just gives us a sense of purpose when it comes to movement at home. So a few things to keep in mind whether you are interested in buying this program or not. I just feel like this is important for people to hear sometimes because it can be very easy to overthink things or get misinformation. The first thing is that there is no one magical movement or style of cardio that is going to get you the results that you want overnight or just get you to your goal in general. So to just kind of wrap that up, progressively getting better with your chosen method of exercise is going to be the key factor in getting you the results that you want. Secondly, there is no magical food or juice or group of foods that are going to magically shed your belly fat or your arm fat. All of that stuff is a total myth and it's so unfortunate that people are still trying to target beginners in that way because it's just wrong. Morally and factually. Your overall caloric intake is going to be the biggest determining factor in your body composition. After you consider the calories, then it's actually going to go into the macronutrients such as the, you know, protein, carb, fat distribution and the foods that you are choosing to consume, processed foods. You could still lose weight eating them, but how you're going to feel overall is questionable. And lastly, I already kind of mentioned this before, gyms are a fantastic environment to transform our bodies, but they are not entirely necessary. Provided that the exercise routines are properly structured, you can still get very similar results at home. So this isn't your generic booty band exercise workout. These have been properly designed and very thoroughly thought out by the legend Omar Isaf himself. He is so intelligent in the gym and has so much history training women, including myself. So with that said, if you have been struggling with your workout journey and you're looking to try something new, I will have this link down in the description. Ah, the link down in the description box down below. I really will though, it'll be linked down below. Uh, it's just a one-time payment. And then outside of that, if you're not down, just enjoy this workout program from home, the one that I just included. And if you guys want me to do like the banded only version so that you guys can see what that looks like or the body weight only version of this video so you guys can see what that one looks like, just let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for letting me talk so much. I feel like I gotta sneeze. I'm really hungry, I'm really thirsty. I will uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye.